What's up everybody, Funky Val here. In this video, we're gonna do a quick uh, logic prop tutorial about those Peruvian pine pipes and like the way they use the sampler. And what I want to do is uh, I want to use the mod wheel to control which sample we're gonna select. Uh, so there's like multiple, uh, I can show you, multiple articulations, they call it. Uh, soft attack, hard attack, slide up, flutter, and overblown. So if we change to overblown, it sounds like this. And soft attack, the default would be like this. And there's flutter I really like, which is like, like this. And uh, what I would like to do is use the mod wheel, which is not used, like it does nothing on those, uh, on those sounds. See, mod wheel is not used at all. I would like to use it to be able to switch between articulations easily from my keyboard. That would be really useful. And that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. Uh, the reason I want to do this, I can show you, it's uh, to play this solo. There's a flute solo in this song, Upton Funk Empire Boogie. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. Anyways, and it does like different kind of articulations all over and I want to be able to play it like kind of realistically as much as you can play flute with a keyboard, you know? And it's like the kind of flute you have in this. This is really, really good song as well by Saint-Germain, so flute. really really good I, I let you listen to it anyways uh, I found that the Peruvian pan pipes in Logic Pro is like the native instrument that's like sounds the best like this I don't think in reality they use Peruvian pan pipes they use like a, probably a side sideways flute I have no idea the name in English uh, anyways we don't really care about that so the articulation thing to uh, tune it with a mod wheel is something I've done in the past uh, back in the previous Logic Pro version where there was no sampler and it was ES624 or something like this. And uh, then I tried to recreate it with a sampler. I couldn't find it. Like I spent so long to find how to do that again and turns out it was pretty easy, but uh, kind of hidden. So the way you do is like you have so many controls on like the sampling instruments and stuff. What you want to do is go in the mapping uh, and then you see like different groups for each articulation. Uh, but what you don't see here is like anything related to the mod wheel is because you need to open this G panel here. I have no idea what it means. And if you stay on it, it doesn't even tell you what it means. There's G and there's Z. I don't know, man. And uh, you go in G. And then you see like a number of parameters that you can tweak, like the velocity, for example, which is gonna trigger which group, and like, uh, I don't know, some stuff. But if you right click on these uh, titles over there, like the top row, uh, you have like so many more stuff you can unable. Uh, what I want to do, I'm gonna use just show all columns, okay? And then we're gonna see everything possible. So you see how it works with the articulation which shows here, it's like unable by articulation, it's on for all of the groups, which means like when it's overblown, it's going to be only the uh, number five here, the overblown one, uh, and it's not going to trigger the other ones, but you can also do it with the band, the pitch band, it's not used, uh, by channel, by control, control would be the mod wheel, uh, that's what we care about. And you see, it's not on by default, but the values are pretty interesting because like it's already, that's the soft attack, it's zero to nine, uh, that's the hard attack, then it's going to the overblown, then it's going to, uh, what was it? Uh, the slide up and then the flutter. So it's like you already have pre-configured this thing, but we just need to enable it. So if we turn on enable by control here, and then we need to remove enable by articulations, otherwise like it would only pick the overblown. It would be like a combination of those two conditions. So we need to turn that off everywhere. And now I'm mod wheel zero is soft. Then it goes to hard attack. Then it's like overblown. And then it goes into slide up. No, wait, where is it? Slide up. And the last one, the flutter. So you see, like we can use the mod wheel. But for what I'm trying to play, I really just need overblown and flutter. Uh, so it's pretty hard, like with just the mod wheel here to like find the right one. Like overblown is kind of always in the middle. And then flutter is at the end. So it's not so bad, but like, uh, you see, I missed it right away. So it's like too, too much error prone. So we're going to go a step further here and uh, we're going to tweak it in order to be overblown all the time, except like uh, we leave a little bit of range for flutter at the end. So uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to 
just mute, I guess that's the easiest. I'm just gonna mute all of the ones I don't need. Yeah, and then they're gonna be ignored. And then for, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? I'm gonna right click on this and do just show used colon so it like cleans up a little bit. Uh, now enable by control on overblown, I'm gonna do zero to, let's say, 100, I don't know, I, I want to leave a little bit of range at the end, like 120. And then for the, this one is the flutter, we're gonna do 121 to 127, and the other ones are not used. Uh, and this way, if I go like anywhere in the mode wheel, it's overblown. And then with the module, I can trigger this uh, flutter thing. That's exactly what I want to do because it, it does the fluttering on that note. Anyways, so that's pretty good. That's just how easy it is. And I want to go a tiny bit of a step further. I actually realized the flutter is like not very, it's too much contrast to go from overblown to flutter. It's like so quiet. So what we can do, what I figure we could do is actually uh, always play the overblown one. So I'm just gonna do this to 127. The range here, by the way, goes from zero to 127. It's like the highest value you can put. You can slide as the max value. So, and if we do that, they're gonna play at the same time. So instead of being like just overblown and then just flutter, when I put the mod wheel top, Overall, you get the idea. That's how we can do this. It's uh, unable by control here, and you can tweak it with unable by articulation. And there are so many other things you can you can play with with um, the sampler. So it's a very powerful tool. And uh, then now we're done. We can uh, save that. So right now it's the Peruvian Panpipes Plus, like the default the default one that exists here. Uh, how do we save it? I think we go there. Save as. Save a copy as. Save as. We can save over the default one, which is good. And then I can I can call it, uh, I don't know, overblown. Sampler instruments. Uh, it's uh, the right path by default, it's like in your own instruments. Uh, I save it. And now it's always there. It's gonna be remembered. But then if I want to easily find it, like right now I would need to open a sampler and then find it in the list of, uh, of everything right there. I think it's in the library, factory, and that's mine. You see, I did it once, like a long time ago with the S624. I did it again with a sampler. And now I did it a second time just to show you in this video. Uh, so I need to clean up that a little bit, but still like you find it here. But what I would like is to find it in my user patches right away. You see, I have also a few things here. I want to save it here. It's not there by default. That's like my previous things I did. Uh, and what you just do is once you have it on the track here, you just go hit that save button, Panpipes plus overblown, save, and it's gonna appear here in your instrument. So then like, if you delete this track, hello, and then you create a new software instrument, you just go in your user patches, Peruvian Panpipes plus overblown, and then write. Anyways, you got it. Uh, I hope this video was useful to you, that you learned something, it's gonna enable you to like tweak a bit your uh, sampler, the way you control it with the keyboard and stuff like this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have uh, any other question about this, if you want to know more stuff about Logic Pro, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this, and, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Peace.